here, Ari here. As you can tell, today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be unboxing this guy right here. This is, of course, the exclusive figurine made by Gaming Heads of Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. I have been waiting for this figurine for literally three years. I placed my pre-order back in 2016 after several address changes, credit card changes, all sorts of changes. <laughs> She's finally here. I've got the deets pulled up on my phone right here. She retails for $339. <laughs> We are not going to repeat that. <laughs> there was a non-refundable deposit of $34, which actually I think when I pre-ordered, it was only $20, so it has gone up. She is supposed to be roughly about 18 inches tall, and i.e. about a quarter scale, which makes her a little bit bigger than my largest figurines, which are the 1-6 scale figures from Final Fantasy X. She was exclusive to the Gaming Head store and only 500 pieces worldwide were made. That makes me really excited. <laughs> now this one here is not the version that lights up. I opted just for the basic one. I don't need anything really that fancy. I cannot speak to whether or not the light up version has shipped out yet. I haven't heard anything. I've been trying to like not look at other people's reviews until I opened mine. But yeah, this one is just the basic one. A couple other specs, this box is huge. It's also quite heavy. I think it's 6.99 kg, so about seven, um, which is a lot heavier than I was expecting. It looks like two of uh, my figurine is marked on the box as number eight, uh, which is kind of cool. Alrighty, so I guess let's go ahead and open her up. Okay, I've got my handy dandy scissors here. I will say this is packaged really well. It doesn't have any damages from the shipping and it did come all the way from China. Shipping was also really fast. Once I got the email notification that she was on her way, she took probably woo, only two days to arrive. Ah! <laughs> I can see it. Woo. It's a big big box inside. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can show you. Ooh. This is the inside of the box that we got, so we can clearly see the Bioshock Infinite logo here. And she's really stable with these styrofoam corner guys, keeping her nice and snug in the box. Okay. I'm not entirely sure how to do this. I'm gonna try to pull her out from over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she looks so cool. Oh my god. Bye. Coffee time! Holy crap! Look at this thing! <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing! This is so big. This is huge! This is ginormous! And it's not even it's not even out yet. It's not even out yet. <laughs> Bye. Huh. It's a little bit of I've still got your teeth. It's gone now. Whew. All right, let's check her out. All right, if we flip her around. What's funny is down here in the description on the box, it lists as it having a thousand units made versus the 500 that's currently listed on their website. I think I remember a thousand being the number uh, during my pre-order, so that probably makes more sense. And maybe this was like part of the first 500 and the next is coming. So we'll give them the benefit of the doubt there. Anyways, I gotta see her. I'm too excited. Let's open it. We've got lots of protective styrofoam so she's nice and safe in there. It's taped up so she won't fall out, which I really appreciate. I'm gonna try not to spill my coffee. I 
it is what it is. This is actually kind of cool. On the styrofoam we have her name and the Bioshock Infinite logo embossed right here on the packaging. We also have this cool little ditty. All right, cool. So this is actually the validation card that you can use to go and prove that your collectible is genuine. And I just love that it has Elizabeth on it so you know exactly who it's for. It's just so pretty. Oh my God. I just noticed on the back, look at Elizabeth herself is embossed here on the styrofoam. That's amazing. Oh my God, amazing. Let's open up this tape. Ooh, I'm gonna light it back. There we go. <laughs> So we've got like a bento box <laughs> of Elizabeth parts. So definitely assembly required. Oh, I want to see. Oh my gosh, a little sky hook. Oh my goodness. Yes. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. Okay, we are going to build her. I think this here, yeah, this is the base. So heavy. So the base has this cool info on the back. It tells you um, the number of your particular figurine. It has the silhouette of the figurine as well as her name, which is pretty nice. It's really heavy, so I'm not too worried that she's gonna go flying off my shelf. Here we have a box lid that goes, I think, just probably on top of the box or like the crate. It says, property of Columbia Police. Ah! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Salt! <laughs> I think I'll legit have to look up another picture because I can't remember how this goes. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting so excited. There's like little salts in the barrel. Okay, I bet you those are in here somewhere. So here we have, oh my god, the body of Elizabeth. The details are just, this is so pretty. This is so pretty and she doesn't even have a head. <laughs> All right, I can kind of see she has these connectors on her foot here, just the one foot, and they correspond exactly with some that are here on the base. So it looks like she goes just like that. We're missing an arm and clearly her head. <laughs> oh my gosh. You've got her arm here with the sky hook. And it looks like it just connects here with this like block. So let's put her in there. That one an easy. Yes. And then we have her beautiful decapitated head, which also just has a block here extended from her neck and corresponds to a hole here in her top. <laughs> Um, she's actually quite, like, long. It's a lot longer than I was expecting. I'm gonna have to clear a lot more room on my shelf, um, let alone find a shelf that has this kind of depth, because clearly the front of Elizabeth is here, um, so you get this kind of, like, cool vantage point with her little props here, but it's a bit big. And the last package we have here, little salts. Oh my god. I'm dead. Which you can put in the little pail. <laughs> oh my god, these are to die for. All right, if we use our creative arranging skills. It's cute because the barrel has this like cute little like paper strips in there so it looks like hay in the barrel that you can just like plop your little salties in there. 
Next, that is actually complete. There is nothing left in the package. So Now that she's complete, I am just overwhelmed, happily, happily overwhelmed with the amount of detail that really went into this figure, down to like her little buttons and the tiny little stitches on her cuff. It's just, they're beautiful. I love the front of her blouse. It's so pretty and it reminds me just of exactly how she looks in the game, right down to her little thimbled finger here. Oh my gosh. I really love the detailing in her hair and the movement of her ponytail. It looks like she's like swishing around um, to shoot her skyhook into the air. I do wish there was more expression in her face, but I do really like her makeup. I think they could have done like a little bit more detail, but I'm, I'm very happy. She looks just the way she does in the game. I also really love the detailing in her boots, which is something that you really don't get to see all that much of in the game and as someone who cosplays Elizabeth I really appreciate that you can really clearly see them. I think too the texture on her top is really amazing. It actually looks like a woven cotton um, and I love the texture on the skirt as well. It gives it a lot more like realism to her. Her skyhook looks just like the prop skyhook that I actually have in my room over there. And I love her hair bow. Oh my gosh, I just love everything. I also noticed that the print on her choker here is actually like a silvery metallic, so it really stands out from the rest. And it kind of like glimmers. It's beautiful. I think though, besides Elizabeth, my favorite part has to be the detachable barrel of salts. I mean, I mean, I just can't. <laughs> These are the cutest things ever. I just, I wish she could like hold them. I would totally, like she's gonna chuck it, throw it at Booker. <laughs> but the fact that they're even here for you in this funny little barrel is just like the icing on my cake. <laughs> I think it's cool too that the crate um, actually opens and I like it's a pretty weighty lid so you can actually like store something in this little crate here um, which I will probably put in the rest of my Bioshock Infinite collectibles because I have a lot. <laughs> I have Elizabeth's um, pendant, I also have like the coin, um, I have so many things so I think that's actually useful someplace that I can put all those little things like in this box but still like showcase them in a way. Ooh, I could totally put her thimble in there too. But yeah, overall, I am so, so pleased. I think she is just stunning. I am a very avid figure collector, and this is just... The moment I saw it, I knew I, I just had to have it. And the fact that they're so limited Elizabeth Bioshock figurines, I just, like, my heart needed this. And she's precisely exactly what I dreamed she would be. She's so beautiful. I would love to see the light up version, so I'll be looking on online reviews for that. Um, but as far as the basic version goes, this is stunning! And I'd say for the next round, once they start coming back in stock, um, if you really need a show-stopping Bioshock Infinite, <laughs> like, showcase of your fandom, this is it. She's... <sighs> I can't. I love her. I love her so much. So with that, I'm going to go clear off some space in my shelving unit so I can fit this baby in. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and little mini review. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Ducker. Ducky. <laughs> Are you having fun in there? You would like this big box? What do you have to say about that? <laughs>